Jungle Wild, previously on Black Actress. How was your date with Romeo? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Correct. Yo. I need you to book me something. If you don't, I will have to sell my body for sex. I can tell you've been going to class. This is fantastic. You are nothing. You're simply a vessel for inspiration through your talent. Do you understand? This is the realest shit I've ever heard. What do you plan to do with the rest of your day? I'm gonna be meeting up with a male friend who may or may not like me. We are about to go on a date. Corey promised me that one of Romeo's friends is gonna make out with me. I have no idea if that's gonna happen. So then why am I here? Moral support? Are you writing about me? No. What oh, is this? Listen, let me explain. My hair is awesome. If you would take the time to see me on the day after I do a deep treatment, you would be fucking kicking yourself. But that's your loss. Izzy, we out. I'm Erica Hubbard, and I am a black actress. I've been fortunate enough where I don't think I've ever lost my way in this industry. I mean, I got good people surrounding me, so grounded, down to earth, sincere, people frank, candid. I use all those synonyms because those people are hard to find. But when you're surrounded by that energy, they're not gonna let you fall. <laughs> they're gonna always pick you back up. Before you even fall and slip, they got your back. So I'm surrounded by a bunch of people that I think believe in me more than I believe in myself. Come on, I've been calling you for like, Two weeks. This is the 16th message I've left you. You're making me look real crazy in the streets right now. I don't like the way this looks. So why did you bring me here? Why do you think I brought you here? I'm looking for answers. Well, you said a favor for a favor. Look, I'm a busy girl, and I don't have time to waste. So what kind of favor are you looking for? Corey. What the hell are you doing? It says the character, um... I know what the script says, but what are you doing? That was not at all sexy. What do you mean? What is your motivation for this scene? She's looking for answers. Yes, but why? She's trying to find her mother? Why? I think they have some kind of unfinished business. So basically, you don't know the character. You don't know why she's doing what she's doing. You are simply reading lines instead of acting. What is the difference between you and a news anchor? I mean, do you even know why you're here? Why you're doing what you're doing? How do you expect to successfully play her if you don't know anything about her? Why are you here? I'm here because Sandy suggested I come to you. That is your why. That is why you're here? I want to be a better actress. I'm hoping to book this movie, and Sandy said you can help me with that. Corey, this session is over. You see, you don't know what you want, and you don't know what this character wants, and until you do, this task is impossible. Wait, what? This session is over. You should leave. What's up? Can you come over? I'm having a really bad day. Oh, okay, I'm on my way. I knew I was gonna get here before you. It is those little feet. You guys are high? Well, I'm about to be. I am. She is. You don't know I don't smoke. I bought snacks. Stella is easily the meanest acting coach I've ever been with. But you always just seem a little like, ooh, when you're She's always that. talking about my stench. Your hair is so soft today. Hey, I've been trying out products and shit. What if mangoes were in trees like coconuts? Uh, like I'm about to really blow your mind right now. Because they are. It's Stop. like really similar. Stop. Yeah, really, really Stop. similar, actually. Stop. Corey. Corey. Hello. 
When you went on the walk in the Nor'easter, that walk was about confronting myself. Society was saying, buy things and stay inside. I had to go outside. What was there that they didn't want us to see? I think I stopped reading. No, I don't quite understand anything that you just said. No, I get it, I get it, I get it. Were you at least dressed appropriately? I've got a great winter jacket. You could have asked me to borrow it. appropriately for something you're not allowed to do? That blew my mind though. Get your phone. Tweet, please. <laughs> Come on, stop playing. Answer the door. That's why I don't fuck with no niggas. Because I'm tired of it. I'm tired. They're I'm tired of society. I saw the short film. It was called Tinderella. The whole idea that like no one wants to No one wants to in love. And I was like, ready for it, but we're ready for it. I was like, I was a hopeless romantic like myself doing this world. Besides get her heart broke. All right. Come to the back then. Corey. Hey. Corey. Hey, what's up? Can I come up? Uh, no. No, I need to talk to you. Let me up. I don't think that's a good idea right now. Okay, then I'll talk to you right from here then. I definitely don't think that's a good idea. Corey, I'm sorry. You had a drawing of my face. I'm writing a what script. What did you call her? Crazy? Wild yeah, hair? Yeah, you also said I was insecure. Pathological You're liar? Right. Ouch. Okay. And I'm not. I cannot help if my stories sound exaggerated and if I have a natural dramatic flair. Natural flair. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm an actress. Hello? All right, look, I didn't, I, I wasn't trying to hurt your feelings, but you weren't supposed to see any of that. If you didn't want me to see it, you shouldn't have had it out. It's not like it was hidden. It was left right there, and it was mean. Rude. Sucks. Maybe you're not mad at him. You're just mad at the page. Corey, I'm sorry, all right? I really am. And I'll be honest, I'm writing a character in my script that's inspired by you. But despite what you may think, she's not all bad. If you had seen the other page, you would have seen that she's smart, funny, and has a dramatic flair that I actually like. But sometimes you get in your own way. I'm sorry you saw what you saw, but I, I'm just being honest. And that question mark you saw at the top of the page, that's there because I'm still getting to know you. All of this is just observation in relation to this character I'm developing. It had nothing to do with disrespecting you or hurting your feelings. I mean it. I'm sorry. I feel bad for him now. So now we're Team Romeo. You know how I feel about black love. <laughs> we are not in love. Mm. He was just being honest. Mm. Just trying to figure out why. You've got to admire his curiosity and unique approach to research. I wish he was getting to know me. It's like, I'm a weed smoker. I have to smoke weed. That's why I'm here. Guess we just are who we are. Shit. That's what Stella was talking about. Okay, I I, I have to go. A dagger, which I see before me. Better, yes. Her mother. She's a bandit. Corey! I'm in the middle of something. Okay, okay, I know, but just listen. She's abandoned. She has never had any female role models. So this is why she's had to make movie stars her role models. And she thinks that being over-sexualized is just a part of being a woman. So she uses her sexuality as a defense mechanism in times of self-doubt. Very good, Corey. And as for me, I'm doing this crazy thing because I have to. I have no other choice. If I don't try to just live this and read this and feel this in my soul, this acting thing, 
never be happy. So that is why I am doing what I'm doing. Brava. Now get out. I have work to do. Oh, and the um, stench is going away. I still don't know what that means. All right, back to you. Is this a dagger? It's back in your throat, William. How do you stay ready in this industry? You say a lot of mantras every day. <laughs> and then you have to have a great coach. When you're not working, you should be with someone working on some material somewhere that people may never see, but you're honing your skills. I don't care if it's theater. I believe when you do stage work, um, it really prepares you for doing television and film. You can really, really hone your skills and stuff. When you go into that television and film world, you're ready. 